the Kosoben Pride Center invites the entire community for a night of celebration, festivities at the very first ever Coastal Bend Pride Center Gala. And we have with us today Robert Kimes. Robert, welcome to the Mingo Live. Thank you so much for being with us. This is the first ever yes. gala. We're excited. Tell it's us, amazing. Tell yes. us everything that's prepared. Yeah, well, thank you all for having me this Great morning. So uh, the gala is going to be amazing. It's going to be on October the 20th. It is open to the whole community mm -hmm. and it's a fundraiser. So we need to raise funds for the Pride Center itself, but we also want to start a new program and that program is called the Student Scholarship. So uh, we've never been able to offer that before. And that's kind of the goal from this event is to raise enough funds to support the Pride Center and support that new program. So we're doing that um, be, through ticket sales, through a silent auction. Um, we've got really cool entertainment coming. The Howl at the Moon Dueling Pianos uh, company from Austin is going to be down here and there are entertainers and um, it's going to be a lot of fun and we're really hopeful that we'll raise enough money to get that student scholarship program going. How do we get our tickets? You can go to coastalbengala.org or you can check out our website at the cbpridecenter.org as well. So. so Robert, tell us more about the Coastal Bend Pride Center and what it does and what it offers our community. Sure. Um, we are a little organization of only three staff members actually, so we're busy, busy, busy. Yeah. But we do all kinds of really cool stuff like cultural competency training for free for businesses. We have free support groups for the LGBT community. Uh, we have a lot of information to share. We do all kinds of events to bring the community together. And uh, one of those events is actually coming up uh, sooner than the gala. It's uh, the Corpus Christi Pride Parade. So that's coming up very fast on Saturday, October the 7th. So the whole community will unite out there on Water's Edge Park in downtown Corpus Christi. And it's an amazing way to just bring everyone together and celebrate the LGBT community. You're bringing in music, you've got vendors, and you got performances We do, well. yes. So, um, and we have a giant tent that's air conditioned. So it'll be nice and cool. <laughs> I uh, heard AC. Yes, it'll be very fun. We've got all kinds of food trucks. We've got live music. We've got live performances. And the parade, of course, will be very cool. More vendors and more people in the parade than ever before, too. Sure. And this is this is not the first annual. You, you've done it before. We've done it before. Yes, we. This is the fifth one that Corpus Christi has had, and so we're very excited to see it grow. We're excited to see the larger community join us and have some fun and just celebrate the LGBT community here locally. Sure. So. Now, besides the parade and besides the gala, how can we as a community support the LGBTQ plus community? year round? Year round, that's a great question. Um, education is the way to do it, you know, just getting a little knowledge about the LGBT community, you know, maybe doing a little research, you know, attending our safe zone trainings that we put on with the Pride Center and getting that knowledge is a great way to be an ally and then supporting the events that Pride Corpus Christi or the uh, Pride Center puts on is a great way to show that you're an active community ally. So great question. Yeah. Very good. For the first event, we want to definitely let everyone know about is the one happening on the 7th. That's the exactly. one. Exactly. That's coming up very yeah, soon. That's the uh, the Pride Parade and Block Party happening at Water's Edge Park. It's free. Mm -hmm. Anyone can attend. Exactly. Everyone, attend. everyone is welcome. It is a family-friendly event. We're very happy to have everyone come join us from all walks of life and support the LGBT community. So. As far as the parade, do you just show up or do you have to register? How does that work? Um, if you want to be in the parade, you have to register uh, with Pride Corpus Christi. But if you want to just come and watch, it is free. Um, we'll be going along Shoreline Boulevard um, out there in front of Water's Edge Park, starting at the Art Center and going towards the end of the park. So it's a shorter parade this year, but it's going to be really cool to see how many people are part of it. And so. where do we register? Uh, register is at pridecorpuschristi.com. Um, and like I said, if you just want to show up, come on out. It'll be free. Uh, just come on and say hi. All so. right. Very good. Robert Kimes, thank you so much for being part of the show today. We appreciate it. Hopefully get, get the word out and let everyone know that everyone in our community is welcome. Absolutely. Thank you all so much for having Absolutely. me today. Yes. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much.